Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, working on scientific notation in IXL's 8th grade math skills. Today, multiplying numbers written in scientific notation. And a lot of people's inclination right here might be to turn this into 30,000 and this into 2,000 and then multiply the two together. Instead, I'm going to apply what we know about multiplication, that it's commutative and associative, and what we know about exponents. Uh, mainly that when we multiply numbers at the same base, we add their exponents. So I'm going to rearrange this and make it 3 times 2 times 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 3rd. That is the same exact product if I just take those four factors and rearrange them. 3 times 2 is 6. And 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 3rd is 10 to the 7th. And we're done. Uh, we're going to leave our answers in scientific notation. And notice that we multiplied these two numbers without ever taking them out of scientific notation. So like I said, this is 30,000. This is 2,000. And 30,000 times 2,000 is 600,000. That's what, that's what this is right here. No, it's not. It's... Uh, 60 million, 60 million, there we go. All right, uh, let's move on to another one. Let's take the shortcut here. 1.2 times 7.7, .7. that's 9.24. And this is actually the easy part, I think. 10 to the ninth times 10 to the negative eighth. Nine plus negative eight is one. Do we really need that one? Ah, uh, we can leave it. It doesn't matter if we have it there or not. <clears throat> 9.24 times 10 to the first power. That's it. This is a little bit different, but actually even easier. Well, the first step is anyway. 5 times 8 is 40 times 10 to the negative third. All right, so... Um, like I said, multiplication is associative, so we can do 5 times 8 first, then multiply by 10 to the, to the negative 3. It's going to be the same thing. One issue, though, is that this is not uh, scientific notation. Uh, I need to change that 40 to a 4. The first factor in scientific notation always needs to be um, between 1 and 10. So essentially, I divided that by 10. I'm going to have to multiply this by 10 to keep everything balanced out that would be that would make the exponent go up one from negative three to negative two so four times ten to the negative two good news too this skill in IXL is multiple choice but <clears throat> I took those answer choices off you might recognize what the answer is before you even finish the problem a couple more same idea here, 9.6 times 7.5, let's start there, that's 72. All right, and then we'll do 10 to the fifth times 10 to the negative third. Like I said, I think that's the easier part. That's 10 to the negative eighth. Now, we need to make this first factor between one and 10. If we leave it as 72, it's not technically scientific notation. So to do that, in this case, Again, we're dividing that by 10 to keep this number equal, the entire expression that is. We're going to multiply this by 10, which is going to make the exponent, again, go up by 1 from negative 8 to negative 7. So 7.2 times 10 to the negative 7th. Got a couple options here. I mean, we could turn this into scientific notation and then multiply them, but I think I'll just do what I've been doing. Um, we know 5 times 7 is 35. Um, we're going to have three decimal points, so 0 0.035 is 0 0.005 times 7. <clears throat> then we also have the times 10 to the 8th. All right, but this is not scientific notation. The first factor needs to be between uh, 1 and 10, so let's turn that 0 0.0 3.5 into 3.5. Essentially, what did we do? We multiplied it by 10 a couple times, right? We multiplied it by 10 squared. So to keep things balanced out, we're going to divide this by 
10 squared, which means that the exponent is going to go down by 2, 10 minus 8. So 3.5 times 10 to the 6th. One more. We got 70 times 10 to the 0. Like I said, we can, since multiplication is um, associative, we can we can do this first instead of the 4 times 10 to the 0. 70 times 4 is 280. So we have 280 times 10 to the 0. That first number is not in scientific notation. We want to, or it's not less than 10. We need to make it between 1 and 10. So I'm going to turn it into 2.8. Essentially, I divided it by 100, or 10 squared. So to keep things balanced out, I'm going to multiply this by 10 squared, which is going to make the exponent go up by 2, from 10 to the 0 to 10 squared. 2.8 times 10 squared, which is just 280, but we're going to leave our answer in scientific notation. All right, so that's how you multiply numbers in scientific notation. Notice we never really took numbers out of scientific notation to do this. So, uh, And we, we didn't use a calculator, but a couple times with the decimals. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.